Hello and welcome to Movies Recapped. Today, I will be showing you a comedy science fiction movie named Paul. The movie takes us back to 1947 in Moorcroft, Wyoming. The dog scratches the door and the little girl thought that he wanted to pee and opens the door for the poor dog. The dog stares at the sky and an alien ship crushes on him as the kid was watching imposing trauma to her life. In present-day California, we are introduced to two friends Clive and Graham, who were going to the Comic Inn. They engaged in fun activities. They talked about how far they were from home but the place felt at home. Clive wanders off to inquire about a sword. He left it when the guy told him that it was worth $13.99. They get excited when meeting Adam Shadowchild who they regarded as the coolest man of all time. They show him their book and he was amazed by the cover which Graham drew. They take a picture with Adam Shadowchild in the background book a room and order food. When they open the door for the pizza guy he confuses them with a gay couple. They try to make jokes with the guy and even explain their road trip and UFO hotspots that they intend to pass through. The guy did not understand what he was talking about. All when they asked him if he believed in aliens. What do you mean alien? They clear a place for him to put the food for him to leave. They drive and stop in California and start having fun and ran when they notice they are being watched. When they reach Nevada they get into a bar and they engage the bartender in an interactive conversation with a woman who seemed to be a comic and fan. They ask the lady if he did believe and she tells them that she did, as there were a lot of strange happenings in the area. She takes them deep into thoughts and scares them. Clive orders a coffee refill while Graham orders an E.T. malt. Clive goes to the toilet and two guys get in laughing and Graham joins them. They start to argue saying that Graham was being rude. Clive comes out of the toilet. The lady brings in the drink which had sparkles not knowing the timing wasn't that good. The two men who looked like military asked whether the bar was a gay bar. Clive tells them that they were not gay. They take a sip of the drink and the lady signals them to leave as the guys looked like they wanted to cause trouble. When driving out they hit their truck and start running away. They reach a black mailbox which was one of the UFO spots and take some pictures. They notice some headlights of a car from a distance. They decided to run for it. The car passes them and they were about to run the car over but hesitate as they did put a deposit on the truck when taking it. The car passes and crushes in front of them. They go to see if the driver is okay and find no one in the driver's seat. While trying to call for help they see an alien coming from the dark while smoking. And Clive faints. The alien named Paul requests for help but Graham asks a lot of question before he accepts to help him. Please like and subscribe to support this channel. Graham accepts to help. They carry Clive onto the track who had already pissed on himself as he got a child's bladder. While Graham was driving he asks Paul how he could hear him and he responds in a rude way that he spoke English. And the most important thing was to create a big distance between him and the big guy. Paul gets out of the toilet and Clive jumps on his neck choking him. Graham tells him to let him go. He asked why the alien looked too obvious and Paul responded that it was to prevent a spars attack from the humans if the two species ever met and Clive pounces on him chalking him to a risk of infection. While they are driving away from the crime scene two guys who looked like agents arrives at the scene and the boss calls him assigning two guys at his request. The two guys make a roadblock and stop the bus. The guys not being told what they were looking for search the vehicle finding only a magazine and some pissy jeans. The idea of three titties on the magazine seemed to impress them. They let them go. While driving away Paul turns visible almost making them crush. At that time the two friends realize that he had invisibility skills. Clive start to become concerned as they were holding a fugitive. While the two agents were laying hide and seek Agent Zoil inquired about who they had stopped and when they mentioned they found pissy jeans in the truck he requests all the information they had and told them that the roadblock didn't work. They stop at a gas station to refill while Graham was going to buy some snacks Paul requests for Rise's pieces and while in the supermarket Graham sees a police officer and Clive scares him, he tells him to leave Paul's request. The police ask them some questions like where they were from and they get out of there without the police suspecting a thing. When driving they asked Paul his story and he tells them that he was not going to tell them as he wanted them to have a clause of deniability and hit a bird. Paul takes the dead bird and magically makes the bird come back to life. When driving Graham draws Paul and asks him if he had ever resurrected a man and he says that it was on another level. The agents get to the gas station where Clive and the crew were just some minutes ago. One of the agents listens and know the conversation as Soil and the boss were talking. Clive drives to a farm where a girl welcomes them. Graham gets shy when he notices she was a girl he closed the door and opens it after composing himself. Graham just stares as Clive talks to the girl. She asks for $15 for a night and takes their national identification card as insurance. They make barbecue as Clive asked him what he was doing on earth and he answered that his ship crushed and he has been influencing the government for over 60 years. They put on a song that Paul liked and Ruth almost saw Paul before his father called her. The next day the girl knocks and Graham opens without hesitation. She walked in and asked where the other guy was and Paul responds from the toilet where he was hiding. They engage in a heated conversation. 
The girl argued that they were all created in the image of God and Paul walks out of the toilet and Ruth faints. They decide to take the girl with them but Paul had to use his invisible skills to get Clive's passport. He goes through the files and after he gets the passport he starts laughing turning visible. Ruth's dad sees him and starts to shoot at him and luckily they get away. The man calls the police and the agents arrive asking him lots and lots of questions the man told them that the devil took his daughter. And when one of the rookie agents asked him what he meant by devil Zoyle takes over avoiding the man answering the question. Zoyle instructs 1F them to get to the phone in case Ruth calls. Just beside the phone was Paul's picture drawn by Graham and he takes it with him. He instructs the boys to get to the car and the man pleads with him to kill the alien or whatever it was. The agents try asking for more information about the mission but Zoyle told them that it was no need to know the mission. While the man in the house was tuning his radio he overhears the conversation between Zoyle and the two agents and Zoyle calls him crazy, he took a gun and a bible and went to look for his daughter. When Ruth wakes up she starts shouting at demon and after screaming Paul touches him on the head and transfers his intelligence over the years. Graham begs Paul to also touch him and he does transfer his knowledge. Ruth still doesn't believe in walking away from Graham. Graham tries to make her understand the whole situation. Paul shows them his ass while laughing and he starts to connect with Clive and Paul asks what his beef was he says he had no beef but admits he was a little jealous of Graham meeting and talking to Paul for the first time and Ruth getting Graham's attention. Paul convinces him to allow him to transfer his knowledge as it may motivate him to finish his book. Ruth realizes she had the whole life to live again he touches Graham's balls and after a long conversation with Graham, she decides to go with them. Paul's becomes generous and heals her eye, she shows it to Graham excitedly, they decide to get something to eat. They get to a bar where Ruth calls her dad but the agents interfere with the connection and Agent Soil confuses her long enough to track her location. The two guys from the bar start to harass her and she hit their balls and runs Ruth's dad is surprised as Ruth's eye was healed. Clive gets hit in the face and Pow opens the door, they faint when they see him. They get in the RV and decide to park and hide. While in the RV they decide to get some beer as no one was sleepy. The police arrive at the scene and find the two guys frightened and one of the agents makes it worse when he shows them the photo. When Clive and Ruth were about to kiss Paul shows up distracting them. At the bonfire, Paul smokes weed and gives some to Ruth and it hits immediately and she passes out. They ask him why he was in a hurry to leave and he tells them that they wanted to learn his skills and the only way to do that is to cut his brains open. They walk holding hands across town and come across a comic book store. Clive stares at a sword he saw at comic -Con and they agree that Graham should get the RV and pick them up. In the store, while Paul was talking to a kid, an agent forced him to pause and he moves when the guy is about to touch his balls. They try to shoot at him and the kid helps. Zoyle tells the two agents to go back to the base and he follows Paul. They hide and Ruth's dad together with agent Zoyle passes by. He asks them to get him fireworks if they were on the same page. They steal the fireworks and Zoyle receives a call from the boss telling him that there has been a 911 from the store and he turns. Ruth's dad and the two agents were listening while Paul made a stop where he crashed a woman's dog when his ship was crushed. While he was talking with the woman the agents throw in a tear gas forcing them out Paul touches Zoyle on the face showing him a lot of knowledge. One of the agents tries to shoot Paul and blows up the house. They get in the car. While Paul was driving one of the agents tried to stop them and Paul heads him off the bridge when he was about to shoot him. After covering some distance the RV crushes and Paul walks into the forest and lights up the fireworks. They wait for the ship as Agent Zoya and the chopper closed in on them. Zoyle gets shot on the shoulders instead of Paul by the boss. It was a turn of events as Zoyle confessed that Paul was his best friend as he introduced me to his wife. While they were catching up Ruth's father shoots aiming at Paul but Graham throws them out of the way getting shot. He falls on the ground and Paul tries his best to use his healing powers which transferred the wound to him. He falls on the ground unconscious but wakes up. Graham and Ruth kisses. The boss tries to shoot them but gets crashed by an alien ship. They take pictures and Paul takes the woman with him. They say their goodbyes and hug. The ship gets in the mothership and they leave. They win an award at the end. Thanks for watching kindly like share and subscribe.